The film adaption was originally from a Wattpad book. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Ah, I'm just kidding. We not done yet. <laughs> Let's go more deep into it, shall we? the kissing booth the other day and i kid you not i stopped watching it hmm, maybe after 45 seconds i couldn't do it uh, i'm just joking i actually stopped watching it after 45 minutes one of my friends the other day said oh you should watch the kissing booth it's so good and before you ask yes Yes, she was. You know what the fuck I'm talking about, bitch. Also, I need to point this out very quickly before we get into anything else. Can I point out that Noah is the weirdest looking quote unquote hot guy I've ever seen? He's not unattractive, but he just reminds me of your local 2000s frat boy. You know what I mean? All right, all right. Let's get more into the important stuff. I personally feel that the film is sort of problematic. Here's why. L deadass gets sexually harassed by this son of a bitch, then ends up going on a date with him that is the stupidest shit i have ever seen no one in their right mind would ever do that ever why would you uh, 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 uh. he literally assaulted her but she thought to herself oh he wore a skirt for me oh yeah totally going on a date with him oh it's okay nigga what he even said at one point that she was quote unquote asking for it oh no he would have got bodied mm -mm, no not today not i said the cat mm -mm, no let's not forget to mention mm, i don't know the sexualizing of underage girls the glorification of underage drinking and all that honky tonky bullshit not only that both brothers show possessiveness over her <sighs> boy if you don't one of the boys i forgot who because i stopped paying attention at a certain point goes around telling boys not to go on dates with l for some dumbass reasons making non-consent decisions for someone else and invading one's privacy huh, is notable signs of abuse so lee and l have these list of strict rules towards the friendship yeah 90 percent of the rules mostly applied towards l um this also has been bothering me after i watched the film and it's been in my head ever since l must be all types of stupid for not feeling the breeze up her ass for wearing such a short skirt i'm trying to figure that out how does l have all of them clothes in her closet in her wardrobe yeah she apparently has no more there's nothing there so she chooses the shortest skirt that doesn't fit her anymore I'm not saying that was an invitation for him to smack her ass. No, that's all types of wrong and he shouldn't do that. But, like, that, I don't know anymore. Also, please don't get me wrong. I can enjoy some cheesy romantic films every once in a while. Although, this film was just not acceptable. This movie literally looks like it could have been written, directed, and produced in 2001. It's just so goddamn corny. The Wattpad story that the film was based on was written by Beth Reckles. Reckles? I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And she was 15 years old at the time when she wrote this. Are you surprised? I'm not. I'm not hating or disliking on Beth's book. I personally liked some of the parts of the book, but overall, I was just like, fam, really? You could have done better. You could have done better. But that's just me. She, you know, she, she's cute, but she could have been cuter. I'm not talking about her appearance. I'm talking about the book itself. So here's my problem with this. There are some wonderful, bomb ass, beautifully written Wattpad books written by 15 year olds. But Netflix decided to read this book and said, yup, this is definitely worth the film adaption. Mm -hmm, yup, absolutely. Let's get a camera crew. Let's get the cast. Let's get it together. Come on. Let's go. Chop, chop. Let's go. We got to do it. Come on. This is this going to be big. Come on. We got to go. Come on. Let's let's move. And yes, I happen to use Wattpad. And yes, I try reading the book. Keyword, tried. The book literally just consists of Elle taking her clothes off repeatedly. The thing about a lot of Wattpad authors, and y'all know this is true, 
a lot of them try way too hard, whether from simple descriptions to simple motherfucking dialogue. So when I first discovered that this movie was originally a Wattpad book, my bitch ass already knew it was gonna be a mediocre film. Now, I will admit, it is a fun film to watch if you're bored or if you're not doing anything, but overall, it's just very cringy. And trust me, I don't use that word very often, but when I do, I actually mean it. I guess you can say it's one of those guilty pleasure films, but usually my guilty pleasure films movies are, you know, the classics. White Chicks, Mean Girls, Not Another Teenage Movie, Bridesmaids, comedies mostly. I hope I'm not the only one that catched up on this, but did you guys also notice how there's no origin to certain things? We don't know how Elle and Lee have such a big ass house. We don't know what Elle's father does. We don't know why Noah and Lee have anger issues. Big details are missing throughout the film. You can't just make Noah and Lee have odd behavior and not fucking tell us why. Like, fam, for real? To summarize, considering that I've probably already said too much, is that this movie was really predictable and openly cliche. Nothing wrong with cliche movies, but cliche movies are good when they are represented the right way. An example of that is Scary Movie. Perfect way of putting cliche and stereotypes and satire in a movie perfectly. Oh, and by the way, if you happen to enjoy The Kissing Booth, that's perfectly fine. That's okay. I just hope your movie taste is somewhat more decent than that because Jesus Christ, you're going down the wrong hole. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm really not though. But in all seriousness, if you enjoyed the film, perfectly fine with me. These are just my personal opinions, so I'm not trying to change yours. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and see you bitches next time. Oh shit, that rhymed. Oh.